can already just feel that beautiful stirring of that summer energy, right? Summer solstice is so about, you know, the fullness, right? And the fullness of yourself and that fullest expression. And what does that look like? It's really about expressing your, your sensuality, about expressing your inner wild woman. And what does that look and feel like? So um, we're going to go through a couple of questions and you can spend more time with it over time. But let's just do a little bit of exploration here together now. And before we dive into these questions, I love this piece from Clarissa from Running with the Wolves, author. The doors to the world of the wild self are few but precious. If you have a deep scar, that is a door. If you have an old, old story, that is a door. If you love the sky and the water so much, you almost cannot bear it, that is a door. If you yearn for a deeper life, a full life, a sane life, that is a door. So beloveds, I invite you to light a candle and dig deeply and honor your innermost desires by answering the following questions. Perhaps you're laying back in the land or cozied up in your meditation area, in your creative area. So the first question I invite you to reflect upon, is your inner wild woman being honored? Is she being honored, beloved? In what ways would you like to be set free? This time of the summer solstice invites us into that deep sense of balance within ourselves. In what ways would you like to be set free? What shifts can you make so you're more in divine flow? These may be small, consistent changes, beloved. The summer solstice is the mushyong time of year, it's heated. And sometimes we get overheated. So what shifts can you make so you're more in divine flow? Perhaps it's slowing down. Perhaps it's more self-care, honoring, listening, and doing this practice that you're doing right now. Allow whatever wishes to arise to surface, to be heard, to be journaled, to be deepened with. What areas of your life feel overheated? What can you do to calm, cool, and recenter? As the sun is the highest in the sky and we have the longest days, the shortest night, we feel that sense of inner heatedness. So what can you do to calm and cool, beloved? What is your heart and soul yearning for? What have you been trying to cram into your life that may not fit? Does it need letting go or just rearranging? Let yourself bathe into this question. Allow the pen to come to paper when naturally flows. As your highest self, you beloved, always know the answer. What has your inner fire helped you accomplish this year? This is important at this powerful halfway point to really look at that. Your inner fire serves you beloved. That passion that's come from Bialtana and flowing, burning into the summer solstice. What has this fire, even in the darkest, longest nights of the winter solstice, that fire was within you. You were stoking that fire. You were connecting with your fire. So what has that, that inner fire, that passion within you helped you accomplish? Give it its voice. Honor it. And how will you allow yourself to blossom into a new life fully? What will you do to nourish this blooming? As you get all that you need from the sun, all from the earth beneath, and all the beautiful deep practices that you have, your tools, your inner guidance. What will you do to nourish this blooming, beloved? How will you radically change patterns to tend to the earth? Will you be open to seeing and receiving the incredible gifts that she will reciprocate? How will you radically change patterns to tend to the earth? What needs watering? What needs love and nourishment? 
What shifts can you make? What conscious changes? What abundance are you ready to have poured into your chalice, into your sacred chalice, your well to create alchemy? What abundance have you poured in there? What more abundance can you pour in there? What brings you alive and activate your inner joy? What is it, beloved? Know what that is and cultivate it. Create space for it, time for it. Feeling that joy and that gratitude for that joy. What is it maybe you know brings joy that you haven't been giving space to? And it all comes back around to the abundance into your chalice and allowing yourself to bloom. How do you desire to love yourself? Loving ourselves is a lifetime, like the beautiful lotus flower rising up from the mud as we peel back the layers and go deeper and deeper. How do you desire to love yourself? Know that, feel that, describe that. How does that feel in your heart and your soul? What does that look like? What does it smell like? What does it feel like to touch? How do you desire to be loved? How does that feel for you, beloved? Who is that from? What does that feel like for your heart? How do you desire to be loved by your beloveds? At this time of high passion, what are you passionate about, beloved? It's just like that, what brings you alive and what brings you joy. What are you passionate about? Are you honoring that? Do you give space and time to it? Do you give it the nourishment it needs to grow, beloved? Do you give that to yourself? What do you feel you are worthy of receiving? Perhaps it's time to expand that. It is your birthright, beloved, to be happy, to feel connected, to feel vibrant health, love, deep love, abundance, prosperity, connection to the land, to your highest self, to your heart. You deserve that. So what do you feel you are worthy of receiving? If it's time to expand that, do that now, beloved. Expand on that. Write it. Draw it. How will you press into the responsibility of your calling? What is your calling, beloved? What is your calling? What are the whispers of your soul? Where is that golden thread guiding you? And how will you press into the responsibility of your calling? Beloveds, I invite you to explore, to go deep, to allow, to allow yourself to be in that divine synchronicity. Allow your highest self to flow through you, spirit. Feel the support. I love you. I'm really, really grateful for you, beloved.